Okay, Michael Goulart, the rider who died in the Paris-Roubaix, it's been revealed that he suffered a heart attack on the race, and he was dead before he hit the floor. The coroner said, you know, he, he, was, he was dead long before he was found. There was no way of bringing him back to life. He had been dead for a good while. He had, he had a heart attack whilst on the bike. Now, the Paris-Roubaix is a very tough one-day classic, but it doesn't have a lot of steep hills in it. It is cobbles, and it's open countryside with a few flowing hills. It's a one-day classic. So basically, it'll be a long stage in the Tour de France, for example. It'll be one of classes, one of the long stages. Um, and I will say there's condolences to, to, to his family and everything, but this is raising serious questions because I have... How many more young athletes have to die um, before sports have to start waking up and going, are they are they juicing? Are they, are they taking supplements that are burning too much fat? making them respirate too quickly are they overworking themselves because something is is is, is troubling me here he's 23 um he's a high level professional cyclist um this is troubling me because of his age he's five years younger than me and he's dead and he had no outward signs of any health issues because at, th at this level of pro athleteness when you reach this level of being a pro athlete they will put you through these health screening checks every year. They regularly do these doctor checks. I know they do it, um, it's not compulsory, but most sports teams will do the whole medical. That's where you get a football transfers, for example. And um, if anything came up on that screening, there we go, like, um, and Michael, we've, we've got to have a chat. So, what, well, you've got a heart condition? You, you can't compete at this level anymore. It, it will kill you. You can still cycle and exercise, but you have to basically calm your exercise down. You have a heart murmur, or you have an irregular heartbeat, whatever it might be. Steroids can also have this effect. Some supplements that are, some are legal, some are, have side effects like heart palpitations. There are fat burners out there that can cause you to pass out and, and have heart, and have cardiac arrest. Uh, the, 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 what Alvarez doped on um, and was caught in his bloodstream, that has that kind of side effect where it can kill you if you take too much of it. Cyclists don't want to have a lot of fat, they want to be as lean and powerful as possible. Hence why there's no chubby cyclists, they are all stick men with powerful thighs. Um, so, was he, was he dieting incorrectly? All these questions we raise, but this raises another question about cycling and the possibility of, of doping being involved in this young cyclist's death because 23 year old cyclist dropping dead doesn't happen unless they're normally hit by a car come on or have a pile up and that's happened in soccer races there's been crashes on mountain roads and there's been things like that in a race but on a predominantly i would say average tour de france stage um such as a paris roubaix which is a one-day classic and they do use parts of the paris roubaix kind of style route um, as as stages in the Tour de France. They have been on these roads in the Tour de France on these cobbles and for a rider to die on it, something has gone very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. And uh, it's time we as fans start asking more questions about the, the teams um, and the athletes involved and, and we start asking questions about their welfare. Athletes' welfare is being put at risk of monetary gain in many sports. Why is a 23-year-old cyclist dead? Why? Now, I know people who have heart conditions. You've been born with holes in their heart. They have heart murmurs, irregular heartbeats, angina, and they're various ages. Some are young, some are old. I know people with heart problems. Why is a professional pro athlete at the top level dropping dead at the age of 23? Because after like the Fabrice Mbamba incident, you would have thought professional sports would have gone, okay, we have to take the health and the screening of our athletes far more seriously. But I'm going to leave that there. It is troubling. I have concerns about the welfare of athletes yet again. And this is a thing that has been raised many times on my channel, is the concerns that I have about athlete welfare. And athletes who are not fully fit competing and causing more health problems. Uh, and of course, cycling is a sport which has had an issue with doping.
and some of the drugs they take or have taken in the past cause this and some of the new ones that these masking agents cause this anyway thanks a lot for watching this is a more somber topic that I wasn't expecting and it will come up in the live stream tonight uh, place your thoughts below um, and I will say this before I go you know my condolences um, but questions have to be asked and it will take a few more weeks to come out and we'll find out what killed this poor man and what caused Golarts to have a heart attack while cycling because that shouldn't happen to a 23 year old who's healthy and fit should but thanks for watching place comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon